Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. We are on the final warp room, the amusement park. We are now going to enter level 1. And we are playing once again as Scooby. You're in an old amusement park, Scooby, but there's no time for rides. Find that phantom virus. Oh, shucks. Unfortunately, we can't go on any of the fun rides because we gotta find the phantom virus. So, yep, this is the um, oh, this third, third last level in the uh, game. Um, I, I find this um, level actually um, very, very, very nice. I think it's um, a nice level to um, play through. I think it's um, got a very realistic um, feel to it. Um, it's kind of got this mixed bag as well with the enemies. But I think, like, you know, it um, has a very re realistic um, feel to it. Like, it's a very good vibe to it. And I think the music as well um, really adds to it. I think, as I like, like the Big City, it's one of those soundtracks you would definitely listen to in your um, spare time uh, as well. So, yeah. Like, every, you can hear it there. So, yeah, I think that's really good... Uh, Really good, pe good piece of piece of um, music. Go on here, sorry. Yeah, might have to get a few extra lives as well, just to warn people in advance because um, the Phantom Virus is a very difficult boss. Um, so just need to, might have to be extra careful in these next two levels because I feel like I'm gonna um, fail a wee bit because um, it's a very tricky boss. Uh, but we'll talk about more about that when we get here. Yeah, so I'll be careful with these moving logs you can very easily um, um fall off and miss the flight like i think this is lovely here this um stream here like um i think that's a beautiful sight like you know no i think it's a lovely stream to um look at so yeah we are going now now to an approaching a warehouse here yeah, so that, those those things there remind me of uh, Crash Twin Sanity, the old Papu Papu section. We got to re rescue uh, Cortex after Papu uh, puts him in jail. So yeah, so we're going to another checkpoint here now. Watch out for these logs again. <laughs> See, I feel like I not nearly missed that jump, but I managed to get it, thankfully. So yeah, uh, I didn't. I, I found the, I find this level is. <laughs> I don't find this level too bad um, compared to Egypt. Egypt. See, I think Egypt is a lot harder than these levels here. I keep I say that I say that as I die. Like um I just I have I just jinx myself. But yeah, I do mostly find Egypt. Like if I had a choice between Egypt and um Egypt and these levels, which is harder, I'd say Egypt was harder. I feel like Egypt has a lot more obstacles uh compared to this. I think this you need to kind of just watch your timing more so in this level, especially with the logs. And see a bit more of the time in the next level when we go into it. So yeah, we're now um, approaching the haunted house. Up here now in a second. Hey, that looks like a haunted house. Go inside and check it out, Scoob. Haunted house? Uh -uh. Unfortunately, Scooby, it's on the path. So we have to go through it now. So I really like this bit here. I think this is a really um, um, cool, cool element here. Kind of reminds you of those like um, fun fair rides you'd go on um, when you were younger. It sure is dark in there, Scooby. Watch your step and look out for holes. You wouldn't want to fall. Roll? Roll? No. <laughs> Certainly would not want to fall. Yeah. So, yeah. Watch out for these um, vamp uh, vampires. Once you kill them, they'll turn into bats, and then they'll come at me two or three at a time. Giant blades don't look too safe. Scooby, you'll need to time this perfectly. Right. This is very Crash Bandicoot here. Can't remember what level it is. I mean, can't remember what the level is called uh, again, but you can definitely see a lot of um, Crash Bandicoot here. What, what, whatever, what level? Well, I can't remember what it's called actually. It's in the third island. It's like um, <laughs> I'm sure like someone in I don't know if someone in the comment box section will say what it is, but um. But um, yeah, it's, this is very. This is. I think this is definitely borrowed a lot from um, Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, oh, that was so close. So yeah, so yeah, that's what I mean. You have to kind of be on your toes with these levels. It's very easy to lose health. Like I'm on like one 
one bit of health here already. That just shows you how um, timing, how much timing you need to have. It is a really catchy te uh, uh, team. This actually, I really think like Stephen Gurney did a really uh, good job. You know, it's definitely a very relaxing team. Some one you could definitely listen to your spare time. And just it won good tune, just a really good tune in general. So yeah, we're gonna try and get a bit more health here, um, because we'll need it. Okay, a load of pies, unfortunately, not getting enough burgers. So yeah, watch out for those clowns; they can be a bit annoying. So yeah, this is I think this is a very, I said, very realistic um, uh, park vibe to it. Amusement park. Um, was actually last amusement park I was actually in was actually I went to Vienna back in 2019 with a few of my college friends and um this that was um it was a good it was a gooby area gooby area i think it was called pretzel park or something but yeah it kind of reminds me of um that kind of that walk there kind of reminds me a little bit of it Why, good job, Scoob. You're halfway there. let's catch the phantom virus so we can get something to eat scooby dooby doo and this is lovely i think this area here is is just beautiful i mean it's a brilliant area Yep, there we go. That is level one done. Um, of three in the fight in the amusement park, the final warp room. Let's see how many points we got. Not a bad score. Not a bad score. Here we go. Now we're going to go on to level two. This must be the entrance to a medieval ride. Be careful, Scooby. Who knows what the phantom virus has in store? Well, well, exactly, you need to be careful because it's the last level of the game. Like, you know, there's no more uh, running for the Phantom Virus now. This is the um, final, final level. And then, and then we'll have to face this then. Oh, I love roses. But the ones you'll find in this hedge maze won't be friendly, Scooby. So watch out. Green roses, right? <laughs> I don't think I, I will. That is good. It's good about this game. Like Scooby's just anxious over everything. <laughs> like it, the smallest thing. Like it's um very funny. So yeah, we have this maze uh, section here now, and it's very easy to uh, get lost in. Like um, this would be a great level, I'd say, for speedrunners because you really gotta remember the pattern of um. You really gotta know uh, the level in order to um figure a way out here. So yeah, like um, I have like I played this many times. I like, and I even still get confused with the um pattern of the maze, like where to go. Um, is this the right direction? Do I turn now or turn left? Turn right? So yeah, uh, watch out for these roses. Their attack is deadly. So yeah, so we go up this way and then we have to attack another rose here. And get another pipe. Yeah, and then we'll see um a catapults now in a few minutes. Which is a really cool, um, cool addition to have for the for this last level of the game. Really cool. They can be tricky, but they're quite uh, cool. I think it was a really good addition to it. We got a checkpoint. Yeah, I definitely feel like yeah, there is definitely a real realism, um, realist, realistic vibe to the um, to this to the to the, both these levels. Like you know, I can like picture these like these parks like like in real life. So gotta be careful. Don't get hit. Oh, nice. <laughs> Managed to avoid getting hit. I have been um, just, um, just, I thought I'd do a bit of recording tonight as well because um, I'm kind of um, uh, busy a little bit lately with um, ISGP and um, Looney Tunes Rush. Um, do, doing well and I'm in round two of ISGP2 and round two of Looney Tunes Rush. So we've got matches coming up. Um, um, coming up. I did my ISGP match actually um, this, this uh, week. Yeah, and I've got to do Looney Tunes um, Rush uh, next week. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be kind of busy with that. So before I get this up, like, uh, but um, I might get. I'll try and get one of those up on the channel as well, just to advertise the tournaments again. You know, like I did with my race with Lucas, the Looney Tunes uh, Rush. So yeah. So yeah, um, that's one thing that'll be keeping me busy. And I did, and the cast as well. I do the Spiral Speedruns cast as well for the ISGP, which is always great fun. Um, I really enjoy doing that. Like you know, we just talk about the tournament. Uh, Chris Fisher appears in that. Lucas Bolton, Dante Fanta, Daniel Davison, like every, um, 
J- uh, Brandon Black, you know, they'd be like the sort of main crew with it. Um, but we like try, we try and get as many people as we can from the tournament just to come on, to come on because it's all for fun. Like we just discuss tournaments, you know, we discuss runs. Basically, it's not overly. We don't analyze it heavily. Like we do analyze it, but we don't like do um, go into major analysis on it. We just um, say, okay, the runner was they could have done. They were good. They had a good points. They had their weak points, etc. Because like. Yeah, it's all it's all for fun speedrunning at the end of the day. So there we go. So it's like a bit of a, bit of a Robin Hood feel with with the soldiers here now. And you know this man here shooting his arrows at us. Scobie, these spinning bars will hurt you if you get hit. It's all It is all about timing, you're right, Velma. <laughs> My timing was not good there. So yeah, there we go. So yeah. Keep going upstairs. I think I'm trying to do a speed ring strat here. I believe this one here where you basically um you, you jump and then bounce like this. I think I was watching it actually. I was looking up actually speed running strats for this game. Actually on speed run, speed running strats. And there's actually a, a guy who's actually number one in the world for this. Oh I'm a number pious. But uh the guy I think uh who's number two I think in the world for this is number one. I think the I think it was number one at one point up until not so, not so long ago. So that's a pretty uh, cool thing. It's not actually raised much to be doing the cyber chase. I think there's like maybe only four or five people that have done it. And it's good to know that one of them is from, actually from Ireland, which is which is which is awesome. And you definitely learn a good bit. Like there's stuff that I wouldn't have thought to do in this game, speedrunning strat wise. And it's really good. It's really good to like um, see people like dabble, you know, into. Uh, games and you def- and you really do learn stuff like you learn like you look at, as I said you look at stuff from stuff that they do and you think oh I would have never thought to have done that way I would never have thought from, from that side so it's really insightful now this is a and I just want to say this is a beautiful um uh, uh castle oh damn it <laughs> this is a beautiful castle yeah I really like this whole area I just like this whole level in general I just think it's a really good level Ah, oh, so you gotta be really careful here. Like I'm probably losing a bit of momentum with the jumping. So yeah. So yeah, I just think it's a lovely, just a beautiful look, at, just a beautiful level to be in. Um. So yeah, so yeah, I'm just gonna go up the stairs now. We're almost there. It kind of reminds me a little. There's a little bit of a. It kind of reminds me of kind of like a, like you know, like a charm ridge kind of level, you know, kind of vibe to it like you know from spiral free you know like especially that section you know with sergeant bird yeah so gotta be careful here there we go like you did it scoob the phantom virus has nowhere left to go now let's go catch him quick i'm starving <laughs> scooby dooby doo here's the last enemy we're going to kill in the game Wait for him to attack. Nope. My oh my aiming is better in the Phantom Virus fight. There we go. That is the last full normal level of the game. So there we have it. There's only one thing I have to do, and that's face the Phantom Virus. Now I'm gonna do that in a separate part. Uh just in case. So yeah. Um thanks very much for watching watching guys, and I shall see you for the Phantom Virus. Goodbye.